Hey guys! So today I want to talk to you about my study, Celtic Languages and Culture. So I'm going to get right into it. Um, I study at Utrecht University, which is one of the very few universities in Europe that offer um, this study. So it is really quite exclusive, which I like. Um, so yeah, what is it about? Um, pretty much it's just what the name says. It is a study of Celtic languages and culture. So first of all, if you don't know what Celts are, um, they are a people that are um, well classified together according to their um, speech. So the language that they speak, it's one language group. Um, that's the shortest explanation I can give you. Um, these Celts, um, well, it is believed that they originated on the European mainland and they spread from somewhere in Switzerland um, all throughout Europe, so kind of towards Russia and also to the west, all the way into Spain and um, onto the British Isles and Ireland, obviously. How does my study work? Um, well, pretty much we have this um, two year program thing going on. So um, we have one Irish year and then we have a Welsh year. So in the Irish year everything is orientated around Irish and in the Welsh year everything is, you know, about Welsh. I came in to an Irish year, so I follow all my courses with the um, second years who started in a Welsh year and next year I will take Welsh and I will, um, you know, take the Welsh with the new first years. So, um, yeah, I am currently learning Old Irish and um, how we learn this is we translate manuscripts from the um, medieval period, from the Old Irish period. And, um, well, we don't actually learn vocabulary, um, but we translate using the grammar and um, a dictionary or a list of words. So. This is the Old Irish Grammar by Rudolf Thurneisen. Um, it's pretty thick, a lot of information. We translate manuscripts. This is what I'm currently translating. It is the Lever la Vidre. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is Irish. As you can see, it's a pretty crazy language, but it is so beautiful. Another thing that we translated um, it's from this, I've already shown you this book. It is Old Irish Paradigms and Selections from the Old Irish Glosses. And pretty much these glosses, what they are, is, well, medieval scribes, when they used to copy uh, manuscripts, which were in Latin, they would copy it and then they would um, scribble down little kind of notes to clarify the manuscript. So, um, and that would be in Old Irish. So. It's really quite fascinating to read these. Sometimes it's pretty random stuff written there. I mean, there's one example of um, a gloss which is written in Ogham. So, you know, the stripe with the uh, stripes. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen Ogham. Um, and we just said, I have a hangover. Manuscripts that we translate contain stories. So, um, heroic tales, you know, pseudo history and stuff like that. So, it is very much fun to read because Irish stories are absolutely crazy. If you think that classical mythology is crazy, you should read Irish stories. <laughs> they are amazing. It's just anything can happen. The reason why I chose to study this is um, I have been interested in Celtic culture for a while, for a few years before I um, went to university. And I was actually considering studying archaeology and history, but it just wasn't what I was looking for. There was always something missing and um, then when I came across Celtic it was just spot on. It was exactly what I was looking for. A bit of language and a bit of history because um, the study is mainly orientated around language but you can choose to kind of focus more on history. So for example I chose to follow uh, history of medieval Ireland instead of modern Gaelic. So you know you have a choice there but um, it is mainly focused on language, so everybody takes Old Irish and Middle Welsh. The first thing we learned, actually, was um, an introduction to Celtic. Here's the book for it. 
It is the historical atlas of the Celtic world and that deals with um, well the history of Celts briefly. So, you know, what they are about. Um, what are Celts? Where did they live? What did they do? Um, what happened to them, you know? So some people were wondering what can you do uh, with a bachelor in Celtic? Um, well, the answer to that is you can do anything, pretty much. You can do exactly the same as with any other uh, language bachelor. So it's the same thing as if I was studying English or French. Um, this is an actual study, so don't be fooled by the whole mystic Celtic stuff. <laughs> it is actually pure science. So you end up with an academic degree and you can do anything with it that you can do with an academic degree. So um, obviously there's the option of translating since um, well either scientific translating of the medieval manuscripts or just practical translating um, because you do have the option of learning modern Irish and Welsh and Breton and yeah so I'm not too worried about my future when it comes to that. Um, you can do whatever you choose to do with it. And the main reason why I chose to study this is not because of specific job prospects, but just because it is so much fun. I couldn't imagine myself studying anything else. I just love this so much. Um, I'm actually very excited about Welsh next year because it is such a beautiful language. The sound of it is just amazing. Um, I am one of those extremely geeky people that actually learned Sindarin. Yeah, I did, I did that when I was 13 or 14 years old. Um, I decided, hey, I have nothing to do. Let's learn a language that doesn't exist. Yay! <laughs> but um, yeah, I so I'm, you know, a bit familiar with that. And then I came across Welsh and I was like, oh my God, it's like the same thing. So it sounds totally similar. And then I found out that actually Sindarin is based off Welsh. So did you know that? Ah, now you do. <laughs> Sindarin is the elven language of the Lord of the Rings and the whole Middle Earth um, world. So yeah, I, I wish I could tell you something in Welsh so that you could hear how beautiful it is, but I don't know it yet. I could try to reach you some Irish though. Should I? I'm, I'm going to grab my manuscript here, random page, and I'm going to read you something. Okay. Is archide na komalt o nim i maith gelath o belai. Is e arnim a farnishin is in scriptur. Mali non walde. Um, Idet? Was it? Ulk nach abuldog. Buden eile div na dingentar do mes acht raget for getor ken mes rugut et ir foro dochum ni friend. August pian fatir ian si tria bithu nam betha ken trokaire. De dia fortacht ar ni tharbrat som smacht. Smacht. <laughs> okay, that would be enough. Um, I'm sure I made like a thousand mistakes when I read that, but I get credits for trying, right? <laughs> but that is old Irish. Um, as you can hear, it doesn't sound like anything you've ever heard before unless you live in a Celtic-speaking um, country. We do learn how to pronounce um, old Irish because it's quite important in the language, but we don't learn actual words, so I have no idea what I just read. I'd have to grab a dictionary. Actually, let me show you the dictionary. It is hilarious. This is the Dictionary of Irish Language, the compact edition. So, and you can see it is giant, but trust me, it is the compact edition. Look, it is eight pages on every, like, page. The letters are so tiny. It's incredible. Anyways, um, if you have any questions about um, Celtic, because I didn't go over everything, um, Please feel free to ask them. I will see how many I can answer. Um, yeah, and if you're interested in Celtic languages and culture, I would very much like to invite you to um, come to the university if you have a chance. Come to Utrecht. Um, talk to one of the students, you know, on these days that we have. Um, 
where you can come check out the university, um, see whether you like it. Um, we also have lots of international students, so if your school has some kind of in, um, exchange program, you can try and see if they offer an exchange with the University of Utrecht. Um, and, you know, you might actually have a chance to join us at Celtic, yay! <laughs> so, um, yeah, check out if you have that possibility to, um, you know, come study Celtic. So I want to thank you so much for watching um, and I will see you very soon. Bye! Oh, if you're wondering what I'm drinking, because I always get asked, this is um, jasmine tea, my favorite. <laughs>